what would you tell your younger self? You know, what what would what's the fire under your seat that you want to pass on? Well, I think the the most simple and the biggest things are are one, work as hard as you can and try to work harder than everybody else around you. And um, I, I mean, I think that sticks out so much. And and sort of on the back of that is, you know, of course, be on time, return your emails faster than, than anybody else, do exactly what you say you're going to do. And that that is more than half the battle when you start a company. I feel like when you do that, people take notice, especially in the construction industry, um, because I think everybody, at least in Raleigh, are, are so busy that they're not able to do those things. And when somebody comes out of the woodwork and starts just really sort of coddling their their, their clients, man, people, they, they eat it up and they come back and they keep coming back because they know that this guy's going to, you know, get in touch with them on the weekend or work all night or be there first thing in the morning or show up when he says. And those, all of those pieces are so important. Um, and, and going back to a builder is just, I think, get the best, you know, people around you that you can hire the best subs, um, hire the best architect, hire that, you know, if you surround yourself with the people that are doing the best than, than you are as well, if you try to just get by and say, well, this, this, this guy's really quick, but he's not that good, or this guy's really cheap, but he's not that good. I, I think in the end, you're, you're not going to be as good as you could be.